Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I'm going to show you how to make this. And how to export them as ping into Photoshop and then into After Effects. All right, I already have um, a several different tutorials on titles and how to animate a title, but I want to take it, take you through deconstructing a title. Let's look at the title first. So here is the title. It's made up of a lot of different pieces from this text to the backgrounds to this globe image that was imported as a graphic. So all of this together make a title. But what I want to do is I want to be able to animate this. I want to get it out into Photoshop. And if it's a PSD in Photoshop, then I can get this into After Effects. But right now it's a title that only makes sense in the title designer in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, first step, make sure you back up this title. So select the title, go to File, Export, Title. And it exports a PRTL file, a PERTL, a Premiere Pro title. And that way it's safe because you can easily start messing around with this and then you've lost your original. So now you have it exported out somewhere safe. Stick it in your Creative Cloud uh, account. All right, next up, I'm going to make a folder and call this New Layers for me because I already did this in Layers. And I'll duplicate this title again, just because I want to protect it and I'll drop it into new layers. Inside new layer, whoop. Helps if you drop it in the right file. Okay. So I'll open up new layers and there it is. I'm going to duplicate this seven more times and I'll start numbering these. You can set up a keyboard shortcut for duplicate. I don't happen to have one set right now. All right. Okay, I'm going to treat this as if number eight is the bottom and the top one is number one. And I'm going to start by double clicking on number eight and they're all the exact same. The bottom one is going to be the globe because it's the lowest part of this. So I'll select each one of these pieces and delete them. So that is the first one. And if I want, I can just drag this over and give myself a bit of room. I don't have to close this up. So the next is the white backup area that's right there. And I'm going to delete everything else. I think you get the idea. Then the next one up is going to be the blue area because I want that burgundy to be in the front. Okay, so there is my blue. Now I want the burgundy. Both of them, even though they are separate, because I'll be deleting everything, oops, because I'm deleting everything else, they're essentially their own layer. Next, I want this light blue area down at the bottom. So I'll get rid of the text, get rid of the text, white backup, blue backup, that one. Now we'll get into the text layers. And I'm going to start by exploring Japan to be the number three. So I want to get rid of everything else. Okay. This is the tedious part. And then in number two, um, I'm going to want the main text because I'm going to build from top to bottom. And then the last one 
is natural beauty, the little piece there at the bottom. Okay, so now I think I've got all my layers done correctly. So you can now drag these into their own layers here and create an animation like this. Just to show you how simple this animation is, if I turn off the video in the background, the globe has, oh, by the way, I'm gonna give you this. So you don't have to frantically try to create this. You can deconstruct it yourself. I'll give, the, give, give you this title and I'll give you the whole project so you can open it. I can't give you the background uh, video because I don't have license to hand that off, but you can drop in your own. So the bottom globe, if we look at the effects, is just a scale property. So it's scaling from zero to 100%. Next, I've got a cross dissolve on the white. And then the rest of these that are coming in, that is, each one of these has a simple crop effect. You'll see the crop just crops it in. Because they're separate pieces, it looks like they're animating. They're just cropping on, just wiping on, that's all. And then I've got the text coming in like that. All right, so that's great. But I said exporting these out. So how do we export these out? Make sure your source panel is in the front and start dragging these up into the source panel. If you want, you can click on this little wrench and turn on the transparency grid. It doesn't change how it's exported, but it will just confirm to you that, hey, this is like Photoshop and After Effects, whatever is a, a checkerboard is transparent. So once I have that dropped into there, I'll click on this little uh, export frame and important to choose PNG, Portable Network Graphics. PNG files have 8-bit alpha. That means that the transparency that you have around the title will be uh, as part of that layer when it goes out. So I'll just export each one of these out directly, one at a time, boom, boom, boom. You have to drag each one into here. Some of these might be hard to see because it just looks like the text, but of course, if you turn off the transparency grid, you'll see that. So you end up with in, in my case, eight PNG files. If you go to bridge, there's each one of the PNG files that are exported. So I'll select all eight of these and in the tools menu, Photoshop, load files into Photoshop layers. And there we go. Every single one of those layers is exported out, including all the transparency that you see over here on the right-hand side. The text is not text because a ping file, a portable network graphics file, does not contain any vector or text data. If you wanted to really make this useful and say that I was going to use this more than, than just this one time, because you can go into the title designer, you can see the actual type size. So you can copy that this is Helvetica New um, Roman and the, the size and then recreate that just with the text tool inside Photoshop, that's it. Then you save this out as a PSD file, which I've already done. So back in Bridge, here it is. And when I open that up, it's the same, but now it's saved as a, a PSD file. So that means that when you open up After Effects and import that in, there's the layered Photoshop file. I can import that in, not as footage, but as a composition. And when I open that up, I've got each one of the layers separately and I can do any kind of After Effects animations on top of that. Wow! First of all, this started as a proprietary Adobe Title Designer file inside Premiere Pro. Out to pings, out to PSD, out to After Effects, way more useful, way more powerful than just sitting there in the Title Designer. Whew! Hopefully you found this informative. Uh, I know that uh, some people will probably like this and use this and uh, find interesting ways to make it look cool. All right, if you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe, we really appreciate it. And thanks to everyone for your wonderful support. If you wanna take your support up another level, head on over to Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best. Mm -hmm.